Uh, my name is Donnie Haywood. I am the pastor of the First United Methodist Church of Nocona, Texas. Seat Camp is a camp designed specifically for uh, folks with special needs. Uh, the acronym stands for Summer Events for Exceptional Campers. At, at every moment of the day, each camper has their own counselor. Uh, it's a buddy that does everything with them. They help take care of their, their uh, waking them up, their toiletry needs, uh, getting them breakfast and feeding them, make sure they get what they need to eat, make sure they get their medications. Uh, they'll, they'll tour with them around for the different centers that we have in the morning, be with them during nap time, and then they'll stay with them until the, the camper goes to bed. And then um, it is your responsibility to take care of the camper overnight. And then at seven o'clock in the morning when the campers wake, you get a new camper. For, for the parents that, that bring their children uh, or their youth or their adults, depending on the camp, um, we, we have to build a trust with them over a, a period of time. We don't advertise for the camp, so everything that's told about us is word of mouth. I am Tammy Cannon, and this is my son, Dustin Crockett. Dustin was born in June of 89, perfectly healthy, everything fine. He started a home daycare when he was seven weeks old. And when he was 13 months old, he was shaken by a babysitter. His actual diagnosis, he has a traumatic brain injury. He has cerebral palsy. He has an uncontrolled seizure disorder. Um, left side hemiparesis, where his left side is weak. Um, He's considered nonverbal. He has a very short um, vocabulary, two to three word sentences, and then um, severely developmentally delayed. Um, so the first year, you know, parents are a little more skeptical. They bring their, you know, their, their most prized possession, their children, to us, and they, they'll ask a hundred questions. And uh, we had one woman who dropped her child off this year, and, um, and she stayed for nearly two and a half hours asking questions about how we would handle her different situations. Um, that's usually the first year. The second year, they're a little easier. And then what we see by the third year is they have their campers hooked up to their trucks and they'll say, we'll see you in a week, don't call us. You know, just make it happen. So it's, it's trust is built over time. The first year was hard because of the fact that somebody else abused him and put him in this situation. So my trust level is not there. And even, you know, 29 years after the fact, it's hard, but when you walk in the door, everybody's all smiles. They greet you. They want your child there. They want your child to have a positive experience. So it was so much easier knowing that they love your child and that they want them there. It's not just a, okay, we're gonna take your child for the week, you go on. It's no, let me take care of your child for this week. That's the biggest difference is they want to help. Seat Camp's goal is to uh, provide a um, as normal as we can camp for folks who live outside the box. For example, we have children with Down syndrome. Uh, we have a variety of abilities uh, with our campers and so we try to make it um, fun for all. It's a week where they get to be the norm. Uh, they're not competing against able-bodied folks. Uh, they're not competing against um, uh, very healthy folks. They are they're competing and joining with kids of, of their own um, their own abilities. Dustin is included in everything he could possibly do there. Where in the outside world, he's not. Well, when I when I started Seek, um, I didn't know really what I was getting into. And so uh, it's a lot of fun the first day whenever all the counselors and staff are together and we're, we're building camp and getting ready for it. And then when the campers show up on day two, um, the, the joy that they share when they get there, I mean, they are excited because this is a big week for them. But there was such a wide variety of these abilities when they got there and it's a little overwhelming your first time to be there. And we went through the day, and, and at the end of the evening, we have a thing called gazebo time where you get to, to share your ups and your downs, your highs and your lows for the day. If you had a problem, you want to just share something. And um, 
seriously, all I wanted to do was cry, just a, a grown man crying. It's the people at Seat Camp. It's the heart of the people at Seat Camp that make all the difference. I've never once walked in and felt uncomfortable. I've never once thought, I'm not doing this. And I've been to plenty of places and met plenty of people that you just get a bad vibe. And out of everyone there, it's their heart, it's their desire, it's their love for our kids that's unconditional, that makes it all worthwhile. As a parent, you know when things are good, you get a gut feeling, and I've never had a bad feeling about seat camp ever. Uh, it was a dance, we're getting ready for the dance, and the dance is a big closer for the year, everyone does the dance. And this little guy's in a wheelchair, and he, um, turned out he had asked every one of my four daughters if they would go to the dance with him. Well, Christy and I went to him, we were gonna give him a little hard time and razz him about it, and said, so you, you, you think that you can date all four of our girls to this dance? And he said, yeah, and, and uh, he said, uh, there's only so many dances. And, and that to me, um, you know, he understands, he understands better than maybe anybody that life is not certain. But that, that, that thing of there's only so many dances, uh, just very humbling, very humbling. Every experience with Seat Camp is, is usually pretty humbling. And that's, that's what I believe, it's life changing.